All right, so we're gonna to try to make a pickle, a rain barrel out of this pickle barrel. Picked up this pickle barrel online off of Craigslist, uh, rather inexpensive. Uh, items I'm gonna need for this is a drill, some uh, paddle bits. Uh, I'm gonna use a one and a half and then a one and an eighth uh, bit. Also got this rain barrel spigot. And a bulkhead. This is going to be where the overflow, uh, you can connect a hose to it if you want to. That's be where the overflow comes out. So, Oh, and screen. Screen for the top to keep the bugs out. And let's give this a try. Nine holes across the top there. Alright, for the spigot, it calls for a one and a half uh, bit. So, we're going to figure out, we're going to put it about right here. Here. Yeah, they got it. Right. What I'm doing is I'm taking off this on off switch here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this nut off, drop that down in there. It's got a rubber seal. You're also gonna need a pipe wrench for this guy. hand tight there. I'll tighten it up later with a wrench. But then you take this top, the screw, right. now let's get this bulkhead on it. I think I maybe want it on this side. We can put it on either side. I think I'm going to put it on this side right here. So, I'm going to put it up here. So there we go. Now this bulkhead comes with a cap that you can leave on there. So if you know it's getting close to overfilling, you can go out there and take that off. What? Okay. Slides right on there. You can put that nut on there. Let's get a pipe wrench, tighten it up tighter. And then what you can do is you can just put a a hose pipe and then just let it drain wherever you, you know, when it overflows, it drain uh, wherever you want it to go. And I'll put the cap on there for right now. Nah, I think you're good. Okay. I'm trying to photo ball. You can come help then. And this is an insect screen too, so hopefully insects won't move down into it. Get that top on there. I'm gonna lay that on there. And you get the ring.
Can you hold it over? Oh, hold on, it's not on her straight. It smells like pickles. And you may have a little bit of screen left over. You can just tuck it up underneath or you can cut it off if you want to. I think it's gonna tuck up underneath. But that is what the end results look like. You can't see the nine holes in there, but it's got screen across the top of it. We're gonna fill it up and try it out. I'm going to show you how the water is going down in it. It's not level right now, but anyway, the water won't come up above this this ring right here. It will go down into those those holes. You can maybe see them. All right. You can see how we're feeling. There you go. That's a pickle barrel. We'll show you the top here. And you can kind of see right here. Let me show you. That was some of the debris that was in that yellow hose when we first started it. But anyway, it did a good job of keeping it. And this is a uh, insect screen. That whole roll that I bought was uh, $10 at Lowe's. I can't remember exactly what the uh, the length of it was. I think I want to say 20 feet of it or so, or 20 yards, uh, probably 20 feet. But anyway, I mean, with that 20 feet, you can make probably a good, I would say, seven to ten of these barrels with them. So seven would be a good uh, good number. But anyway, that's what it looks like. It's a little dirty, dirty used. And like I said, here's the, uh, the bulkhead, that's the drain valve. So you could put a hose there and it will drain out to wherever you want it to go. So maybe another soaker hose, that would be a good idea. And then I have this little cap you can put on there and keep the bugs out. Don't want it gets down low. Anyway, there you go. And it's dry. That does work. All right, some things that I've learned here is that the you can't use this like a regular hose when you're hooked up to your your city water or your uh, well. Um, it's not going to have that force of water pushing um, through it. Uh, it's better to to have it maybe in a soaker hose uh, type fashion or. Uh, an irrigation type system, drip system of some sort, that would probably work good. Um, and that's probably what we'll end up doing. We'll probably end up getting a, uh, a drip irrigation system where we could uh, run it through the through plant beds that we're going to uh, plant and uh, do it from there. So anyway, just to show you, it's still draining, but you notice the higher I go up, it stops. Come back down, it's just draining. It's just draining good. Like I said, I got this pickle barrel on Craigslist for, I think, $20. Uh, the parts, the uh, spigot, and the bulkhead, I probably paid between $20 $25 for those, for both of them together. Um, in the screen, like I said, I paid $10. So if I can get 10 of them out, it's a dollar a piece. So $20, $45, less than $50, I made a rain barrel. You can't buy a rain barrel hardly for less than a hundred, so save some money. Uh, but it seems to work pretty good. I don't think it'll work any worse than one that you can buy. And uh, it's a good thing for those who like to uh, conserve water and use what's you know what's given to them from up above. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it. 
Uh, you can go to our website at abernathywoods.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.